Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to make a simple NPC character dialogue interaction. And by I mean simple, I mean this will be very simple, like our player is just going to walk up to an NPC, um, click, we're going to have the spacebar button for this one, and then it'll start like a little dialogue interaction. But it won't be anything super in-depth, it'll just display a message saying, you know, I don't wish to talk right now, and then it will go down. But I will be doing a very simplistic one, and I'm just getting started. So let's right click on the camera for um, right now and hit X and delete and right click on the light and hit X and delete. I'm going to right click on our cube in the middle. I'm going to rename this cube to player like this. So player and I'm going to minimize this. Now what we're going to do is go from defaults to game logic and go from blender render to wonder game. And I'm just going to add um, a keyboard sensor because we want to have a simple movements. Um, actually rename this to forward because we want our player to move towards an NPC. So I'm going to add a controller in Python like this and connect, um, not actually not a Python actuator, my apologies, um, a motion actuator, let's have 0 0.2, like this, and connect it like this. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to drag our cube up just a little bit and do spacebar and then add a plane, like this, and hit S and 10. Okay. So if we were to hit play, we can see our cube's, um, actually our cube's not going to drop, because he's not a character. So let's click on the physics tab and make him a character like this. So if we hit P, we can see he drops. Alright, what we're now going to do is create an NPC character, or another cube. So let's do spacebar, then add a cube like this. And to make sure that we know that this is another NPC, let's give it character physics. And let's make it, um, let's give it, um, let's say a red material. And I'll just call this, um, let's just say citizen. I don't know, something very generic. And let's add a game property on this, and this game property will be person. Because it's nobody really of major importance, so it'll be just like a generic NPC. But we want to have it so that we can detect when it's near. Okay. Next, what we want to do is right-click back on our cube, and let's add three separate sensors. This first one will be a spacebar sensor. This will be a space key. I'll click tap and put this right here. Next, what we're going to do is add a near sensor. And I'm just going to rename this as near, I'll lowercase. Let's have the property at the text is person, and let's say it's within five. Five like this. And the last thing we're going to do is add a property sensor. Um, and pretty much let's have it so that if, um, this will be a Boolean property, and let's have it where, um, let's call it talking, actually not talk, uh, not taking, talking, and let's keep it at false. So if our player is not talking, the value will be false. So if we press the space bar, we're near an NPC, and our player is not talking at the time, what it's going to do is add an overlay sensor, or um, add a scene actuator, like this. And we're going to add an overlay scene. We haven't created this over overlay scene yet. But we're just going to connect these like this. And to show that this is working, I'm going to click the I button right here, and do game, game and then show debug properties. And actually to show that this works, instead of having it do a scene actuator for now, Let's just have it set the property to true. So it's going to send that property to, uh, that talking property to true. And we can see if we tap the space bar right next to the, the red cube, it's going to set it to true. But it's not going to set it to false though. The way that we can set it to false is actually um let's well, I'll show I'll have to I'll have to talk you guys through it. But to start off, let's actually create our dialogue scene by hitting this plus sign and then hit new. Um, I'm actually going to rename this as talking scene, like this. It's 7 to go in the top view and do spacebar and then add a camera. And this camera, what we're going to do is drag it up, hit 0, and just like the other um, RPG style dialog, let's add a background plane for our text. I'm going to drag it down and hit S and X. I'm going to make this plane black, like this. Let's add a text object. Um, so let's do spacebar and then add a text. I'm going to drag this text up. It's zero to go into our camera view. 
And let's drag this text over here. And let's add a text game property. Actually, let's have, um, let's name this string as text. Actually, can we add this like this? Yeah, okay, well, we're gonna, okay, I'll just, I'll exit this really quick. Let's just create a Python script and display the text that we want. So add an always sensor, add a Python controller. Let's make a simple script after we connect these by doing templates, Python, and then game logic simple. And let's just delete the portion that I've highlighted. Hit control and scroll up and let's have own.text is gonna equal, I don't wanna talk right now. Or I don't wanna talk, how about that? Let's just rename this to script.py. Let's add that right here. So we should see I don't want to talk is right there. I'll scale it down just a little bit by hitting S and it'll just have I don't want to talk. Now what we want to do is inside of this game property as well, we want to have a game, well let's add a game property, it'll be an integer. I'll call this game property time and we want this dialog box to remove after a certain amount of time. I'm going to set this to 20 like this. And what we're going to do is have own time, um, if own time is greater than zero, own time is going to minus equal one. Okay, I'm going to hit this I and then game, uh, let's go to Blender game really quick and do game and then show debug properties. And we should see in the corner it's going to go down from zero. Fairly fast, I might set this to 50. And we can see it's going to delete. Okay. What we now want to do is add an add actuator on here. Uh, this add actuator will be seen. I'll call this remove. And we're going to have it so that we remove the scene like this. Uh, the talking scene. But before it removes the scene, we're going to have it so that um, it's going to send a message. And this message will be, um, I'll rename this as message lowercase. And it will be, um, well, let's just call this, um, no talking or something like that. The subject will be no talking. Now I'll connect this like this. I might actually hit the plus sign to make the message first. So essentially what we're going to have is have if own time is less than or equal to zero, we're going to activate those two actuators. So let's define those actuators. So let's have message is going to equal const.actuators message and then remove is going to equal const.actuators remove. I'm actually going to drag this out. Now we want to activate the message first. We're going to activate the message first. So let's do const.activates message and const.activates remove okay so now that we have that message sensor or our message actuator the no talking we're going to go back into our main scene like this and on our player object let's have a message sensor like this it will be the no talking that'll be the subject and let's have it so that that'll reset the talking boolean to, to um to what's it called false so let's have it so that it will set the property no talking or talking sorry to false and now what we're gonna do is have it so that when this talking variable is true it's gonna overlay the scene into our game so let's add the um, a property sensor the talking property when it's equal to true will overlay that scene. Let's add a scene actuator like this, and we'll add an overlay scene and the no and the talking scene. All right. So if we were to play the game now, so play. I'll walk up to my cube, hit the sensor. We can see it's going to delete, and every time I click, it's going to say, "I don't want to talk." I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk. Alright guys, so that is a very simplistic um, NPC interaction inside the Blender game engine. 
I hope you guys found this useful. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Just like the NPC, I don't want to talk. I'm kidding, that was just a little stupid joke towards the end.